just speaking of those traditional family farms, what are the most important differences between factory farms and these traditional independent farms? Well, I think there's, there's several differences when we get around to it, but I think the most important difference is, is, is the way those operations are, are managed and the way that they're operated. For one, I explained on the traditional family farm, it's a diversified farming operation where you can, the animals and crops are produced in relation to, the, uh, to, uh, to each other, kind of integrated farming operations where the waste of one becomes an input in the other and the feed that's produced stays on the farm and things of this nature. So I think that's an important part of it. But probably the most important difference is simply the concentration of numbers of animals. Where, where you run into problems is, is where you put all of these animals in such a small space and you create so much waste in that particular location that nature can't assimilate it and you, you can't get the waste from the livestock back to the crop so that it can be managed effectively as fertilization to, you know, to maintain the combination of crops and li livestock working together. It, you could have the same number of animals, for example, that we are producing in CAFOs. In fact, we're not producing all that many more animals than we produced when we had the traditional family farms. But they're just concentrated in single places. And when you had them scattered out across the countryside, we didn't have many of the problems now that we see arising out of CAFO. So I think it's the nature of the operation, but also the concentration of so many animals in such small spaces.